So well folks, how are we getting on? Um, as you can see today we are not in the water, we are in the shed. I'm here getting the boat prepped for uh, a bit of fishing over the bank all the weekend. Um, now as you might see here in my hands, I have fluorocarbon leader. Um, so like the channel I've set up is going about two months now, I've only seven videos posted but there's been three or four comments asking on uh, me about my leader, what the amateur I use, or why I use fluorocarbon, and two people actually private messaged me through Facebook and Instagram as well. So, like, I really appreciate all the feedback and the questions. That's why I'm here. If you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. I learn something, you learn something. So, the main reason I use fluorocarbon anyway is one, it's basically invisible under the water. So it is. And two, I be using um, stiff rods, like a hundred, gram casting weight up to like what 250 casting weight like I used the monster stick there and the SG4 from Savage Gear um, heavy rods using heavy lures sub needs a bit of give so using like stiffer rods with strong heavy braid so with the fluorocarbon there's a little bit of givenness um, found with if you're using steel it's all everything is real tight like so Need some a bit of flexibility. I I'll use a steel leader if I'm using a mono line. If you get me, like so, there's a bit of give in the mono line. The steel wire trace is uh, stiff, but I prefer using fluorocarbon. It's just much easier to use. So it is. So I use my leaders go from about thirty centimeters all the way up to about a meter, which is pretty long if I'm trolling. Use about a meter of fluorocarbon. Um, most of my leaders start between 30 and 60 centimeters. I know they're a bit long and look crazy to some people, but my idea is like the ones you buy in the shop, they're about 30 centimeters in length. And let's just say a, pike, a pike's teeth get damaged or get into about 10 centimeters of it here, and you have to cut it, then you're, all you're left with the next time is like this much. And that's very little of a leader length to leave because like the pike might not swallow it but when the pike does it now a crocodile roll in and then you don't want your main line your braid caught around the pike's teeth because that's where you're getting really dangerous and you could lose everything and lose the fish and if it's a good fish and it has a bait caught in its mouth that pike isn't going to survive you're down a good lower line the whole lot so you want to uh, protect the pike that you're fishing for as well it's a sports fishing we're doing so you want to protect the fish you're catching and release them for somebody else to catch again someday so that's why you use something long so like this is very long <laughs> but at least if i do catch a fish and there's a nick or anything in it you can just cut it Retie it. I'll show you now in a minute. It's a very simple retie it. Then you still have a good bit left. And then if there's another 10 centimeters, there's a good bit left. So you're trying to get the best value of money as possible out of your tackle. Okay. So I'll just show you here. Um, so the way I set up the clip end, or here I'll just show you this end, is a very simple uni knot with the tag end burnt and why well, I have a nickname as I want to create a mushroom head on the tag end hopefully you can see it there now there's a lip there all around the tag end it's like a mushroom just probably a more proper technical name for us but that's what I just call it <laughs> so um yeah so the idea of that is if your line or your leader ever goes to slip when it gets down to the knot itself that mushroom head that you're after creating will not slip through the the knot itself because fluorocarbon once you burn it is basically rock solid again like that thing is going to go nowhere i could stay here picking at it for the next half an hour and it won't pick off that comes rock solid again and that will not give it is never ever given to me in about eight years of using fluorocarbon and tying my own ones it's 
never given once and I can't see why it would ever give so that's it so if you bear with me now a minute or two I'll show you how to tie this knot and I'll leave so guys I am going to show you now how to how to make a fluorocarbon leader um, first of all we will start off with the fluorocarbon itself 99% of the time I use 0.9 to 1.1 mil fluorocarbon on pike fishing but funny enough all i have here in the boat with me now is um 0 0.60 and this stuff now i use if i'm throwing for ferrex or if i'm doing some really light spinning for like perch and pike during the summer on small rivers i do like to still use the leader and this stuff is just perfect for it. it's still thin so it gives me enough protection um it can still be a bit thick i do have a thinner stuff game but um no i use different thickness for different occasions but when i'm pike fishing 99 percent of the time i use the thicker stuff 0 0.9 to 1.1 mil but for this now i will just be using the 0 0.60 for this video with that then all you need is a lighter then of course a swivel and then a clip but obviously this one here now is a clip with a swivel I'm not really too fussy, sometimes I tire you directly onto the clip. This one I literally just got had a swivel on it. I just go down to the local tackle shop and basically raid whatever they have once a year or twice a year and just make up loads of traces for trolling and casting for dead baits and the whole lot. So um that's what I've left over for this year so far is just a few. So I'll just show you quickly now. Um all this is basically a quick uni knot and then the end of it is burnt into a mushroom head as I call it um, surely somebody will tell me the more uh, technical term for it so you just hold your swivel upright you slide your fluorocarbon leader through pull out that end leave a good two inches or so you can wrap that around now pinch it here just above the swivel so the swivel can hang down and as you pinch it in you can wrap it under or yeah under once and over and under twice and under and over three times and under and over four times now it looks pretty simple with this tin 0.60 fluorocarbon when you're using the thicker stuff you'll be doing very well to get more than four turns that's why i'm only doing four for this demonstration after that then you bring your tag end back through the gap or the loop you're after creating in the swivel now you're grabbing hold of the tag end and the swivel so you are and you're just pulling it tight watch that there now and it just as it's getting tight this is the biggest thing to do is you have to moisten the knot so if you pull that tight there's still going to be a bit of wiggle room in it and that's where you most people lose the fish or do it wrong when they're tightening the knot it comes open so the trick here is to moisten it so just give it a quick lick so just give it a quick lick and watch this when you pull then it just slides in okay and then perfectly your tag end comes out perfectly there at 90 degrees after that then just grab your lighter so you do and you just give it a quick melt down probably should have caught a bit more and then you push it down on a hard surface while it's still soft it's coming down three two one and you turn it back over then you should be able to see the little mushroom head created i'll see now if i can get that to focus for you so there now you should be able to see the mushroom head just above it 
right about here. Now that shows us that will not slip or reopen. So that's that thing done very quickly then. Down to the other side with the swivel. Same thing again. So you push your floor carbon leader through one side. Push a good bit through, about two inches. Loop it back over. Give yourself a bit more. Then you can let your swivel or whatnot hang down. Pinch it just above it. Okay, you can let your clip then hang. Then you're going over and under once, under and over twice, under and over three times, under and over four times. After that, everything's dead straight. Okay, once you're tagging, looking straight up, then you're going under and back through. So, see if I can show you back through this loop here at the bottom that you're after pinching. And you go straight through that end. No, and that is straight in line with your swivel and your clip. You pinch that together now. And you pull it back. Just hold high and then pull it in nice and tightly. Then just as it's getting stiff, you moisten it again. And then when it's moistened, you just pull again and look at that. Tightens up nice and tight. And your tag end is perfectly at 90 degrees again. Okay. After that then again, quick two seconds, you just grab your lighter, put down a small bit, and then push it down on a hard surface, and voila, it's done. So just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that there now. So you can see so your tag end and you need that. Now, I have two or three other knots you can use as well. So if any of you want to know what they are, don't be afraid to leave a comment. And I'll show you a few other knots. Um, I need to work on this all set up now for doing knots. But um, hopefully you guys can see that and all understand it. So that's it. Nice and simple floor carom leader. Which might even use me at the weekend. But I'll put that in the box. For all the rest of them. And uh, I'll need that at some stage. So guys, that was just a quick demonstration there on how I tie a fluorocarbon leader. Um, just using a uni knot with the tag in, turned into a mushroom head. Um, there is one or two other ways, as I was just saying, you can tie knots firm, but that knot, I've been doing it for about eight years or so since I started using fluorocarbon, and not once has let me down. You can use other ones, I think it's the Centauri knot, or yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Centauri knot you can do as well. If any of you want to know how to do it, uh, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can make a video for you um, as well. So hopefully all you guys learned something. Um, once again, thank you all for checking out the video so far. Really appreciate it. Um, it's going well for the first two months. I know I'm not getting out that much, but uh, I'm doing my best, and hopefully you're all enjoying this. Um, so, no guys, thank you all for checking out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share the videos with your friends, because that's how we grow as a community. And don't forget to like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.